What's going on, America? It's your boy Jay Hanover. Or should I say it's the birthday boy Jay Hanover? I turned 19 today. But I ain't really all that excited about it. And the reason why is because ain't shit gonna change. I'm still gonna be treated the same way. So it's really nothing to look forward to. But anyway, welcome to my Royal Rumble 2009 review. I already got it pulled up on my phone instead of watching it on TV. Because uh, I'm playing GTA 5 right now. I'm on the road to a million dollars. I got 980k right now. Damn, nose itching and shit. Damn, laptop froze and I was trying to record this the first time. I don't know if it, if it was because I had my phone right there or not, but whatever, man. Damn. I see y'all after the match, though. All right. Jack Swagger wins and he retains the uh, ECW Championship. I give this this match two and three quarter stars. It was a pretty good match. Been growing that long. Those pretty fast paced match though. I like this match. World Rumble 2015 is tomorrow. Should I say I cannot wait? Yeah, maybe. I like Jack Swagger this time, but this theme song is just so annoying, man. I was glad he changed it. Sometimes it's impossible. It's impossible to do stunts on these uh these BMX in this game. Shit, apparently I can only do that in bullet. I 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are in one of the WWE's great all-time cities. Detroit has hosted two WrestleManias, Survivor Series, SummerSlam, and now the 2009 Royal Rumble. A capacity crowd tonight at the Joe Louis Arena. Hell yeah. I love when she just dropped. But it's way more sexy when she... Bitch, get out the way. It was way more sexy when she just put her legs up on the ropes and did that real slow, like, you know. When she dropped, that was sexy too, but still. I think Beth Phoenix won this one. <laughs> Glamour, rather. You can't jump over this goddamn thing, bro. There you go. All right. I see y'all after the match. Good thing they didn't freeze this time. Looks like I was wrong. I thought Beth Phoenix won this, but no. Molina won with the roll of and I think Beth Phoenix beat her ass out of the match. I don't know. I know I've seen the show before, but I forgot all the matches. Damn. <laughs> Change hands here tonight at the Royal Rumble. I'm going to tell you something. That's what it's all about. 
JBL challenging for the World Heavyweight Championship. And of course, in the corner of JBL, his employee, Shawn Michaels, trying to take the World Heavyweight title from John Cena. And this unique business relationship between <laughs> I won't be watching that match. So you don't know. Fuck out the way. Oh, this next. I'll be watching that match and I won't be rating that match. I don't rate any John Cena matches. I damn sure won't be rating the, uh, bitch move. If Cena wins tomorrow night, I'm not rating that match. Shit, I probably won't even review the show. If Cena wins, I really don't give a shit who wins the Rumble. Because you know Cena won't be losing that many. <laughs> he always wins a many. I, I don't know if he's undefeated a many or not. But he better not win tomorrow. My shit just froze. Oh. Trying to fast forward. There we go. Well, I guess the match after that's a WWE Championship. Jeff Hardy versus Edge versus Triple H. And I think Jeff Hardy won that match. Damn, Jeff Hardy in the one-handed chair shots. This shit was lethal. Oh, that's when his house burned down and his dog died. Damn. Oh man, I remember that. He got fucked up. Why are y'all doing it on normal, yo? Bro, you level 77, you doing this shit on normal? Your ass. Your ass, and Danny didn't even change it. He's ass. Man, Jeff got, Jeff got fucked up. It's obvious that someone is trying to stop me from living my dream. <sighs> Oh, wait, you know what? The triple threat match was at Armageddon. It was Triple H, Jeff Hardy, and, uh, and Edge. I think Triple H was the champion at the time, or it might have been Edge. Uh, this 
Damn, you died already, bro. Your ass. <laughs> bro, do. I seen this match. Lay it down, bitch. Someone spectating? What? Where is he? There he is. Ain't nobody spectating. I seen this match. This was when uh, Matt Hardy turned heel. I seen this one. And this is a great match, though. I gave this uh, three and a half stars. First time I seen it. Oh, shit. Hey, don't blow up the planes, bro. You idiot. See y'all after the match, alright? Right, so it's won the WWE Championship by way of screw job yet again. <sighs> Matt Hardy came out, gave Jeff Hardy a chair. Matt Hardy, went. are you stupid? Dude just jumped out of the goddamn plane. Fucking idiot. I swear people, people do some stupid shit on GTA Online, man. I swear. This is why I like playing with other people. This is why I play by myself. Pause. Really, dude? You're going to do some barrel rolls and a Titan, bro? This is a mission. Stop playing. And Brian Boy in a committed suicide like an idiot. I don't know about them, but I'm trying to get my million dollars. I got... 993,829. I'm 2,000 away from a million dollars, so. Well, estimated. 2,000. Yeah. Matt gave Jeff a chair. Then Matt went outside the ring with another chair. And then hit Jeff Hardy with it. I was about to do the concerto. But he hit Jeff Hardy with the chair. Turned heel. Even edge the championship. And you know what? Instead of giving this three and a half stars, I give it three and three quarter stars. Bro, are you gonna? I swear, people do some stupid shit in this game, man. Run the wheels on, bro. Boy, forget like that last dumbass that did this game. I mean, they did this mission. I'm doing the time for a job, and this dude. Some of these dudes just act so retarded, man. Run the wheels up. There you go. Don't slam it too hard, bro. Don't slam it too hard. Brian Boy left. Idiot. I guess he don't want the money. <clears throat> Brian Boy 99. He was an asshole. Dude was level 107. He was the highest level. Now I'm the highest. Dude is such an idiot. And I got out first. <laughs> Friends, but I've seen everyone's been treating me today, pointing their fingers.
fingers at you, vilifying you for what you did to Mr. McMahon. And I just want to tell you, I don't blame you one bit. I thought the Mr. McMahon that was going to show up last week was going to be the creative genius, the God who created the heavens and earth of the WWE Universe, but instead, you got a pandering, shameless drone, a sycophant even worse than the fans who boo me every week, a man who had no problem acquiescing to the demands and whims of his petulant little daughter. You didn't take out Mr. McMahon, Randy. The real Mr. McMahon was already dead. Got a million. I'm guessing the world match is next. <coughs> Undertaker won that one. I don't need to say nothing else. Remember, I don't rate the match itself. I just rate the other matches that's on the card. The championship matches, the mid-card matches, the low-card matches, every match on the show, except the world Rumble match itself. So, with that being said, leave a like, leave a comment, at me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Get blown up, you bitch. <laughs> Lay it down.